I'm Chris McDonough, a retired homicide detective. I've interviewed thousands of people, from serial killers to ministers. Welcome to the interview room. Uh, some woman made this shirt for me. I'm not sure exactly what her name is. And and tell me the the significance of this shirt. Why is it so important? Because my daughter loved Paw Patrol. Okay. Yeah, she did Paw Patrol. Um, what else? Princesses. She did ponies and she loved Frozen. And then she started with these. They're little animals, but I'm not sure what they are. And they got big eyeballs. Uh, the. I can't remember what the name of them are. I got a couple on my wind. Are they like little, they got like the big eyes, that kind of thing? Yeah, they got the big eyes. Yeah. She likes bracelets and jewelry. And she's just a round girl. Yeah, yeah. So let's take me back to that day when y'all were here swimming. Okay. okay. Um, you okay with that? Okay, so let's walk me down. Is this where you parked? Yeah, this is where I park. I oh. park here all the time. All the time. And now, do you come here a lot? I used to come here a lot, yeah. Hey. And do you bring the kids here? I bring the kids here all the time, and they'd either fish or swim, okay. whichever. Right. It's, it's, there's nobody down here hardly. Right. So it's away from, I don't like to be, have the kids around a bunch of other kids because of all the sickness and stuff that's been going around, yeah. different kids and stuff like that. Yeah. So this was more secluded private kind of thing, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. That makes sense. I'm more sense. of a quiet kind of person. I don't mm. like to be in a big crowd. Yeah. I tend to stick to myself and my family and that's it. Yeah. And when you guys got here, who was with you? There's a um, lot of rumors my about... My mother was with me. Yep. And my daughter. Yep. Summer. And Hunter was with us. Okay. Now, Tell me about the dynamics of what everybody was doing. Who was doing what when you first got here? What happened? I got I got out of the car first, and then I opened the back door because my mom's got a double door on her truck. Right. So I opened the back door, and I let her and Hunter out. Okay. And Summer's first thing is to run to the water, of course. Right. And I was like, Summer, just wait. Let me get my stuff, and I'll walk over there with you. And she waited for me, and I don't know, Hunter went off into the woods somewhere. I don't know. Now, where was where was Summer sitting? She was sitting in the middle seat. Okay. Hunter was sitting on the end. Okay. And my mom said, hold on a minute, so we waited for my mom to get out. Okay. And Hunter, he just done disappeared into the woods. I don't know where he went. Okay, okay. And me and my mom and Summer walked over there, and we were just letting Summer play, and then Hunter eventually come back out of the woods wherever he was. Okay. And... So let's walk over there, show me. And uh, I'll just follow you, okay? No. So I'll, I'll follow you on which direction. And Everything's slow motion now. I know, I know. So where, where, which direction does Hunter go? Uh, he went that way. He went that way. It, now, were the ki was he in a bathing suit? No, I think he just had his shorts and his shirt on. Okay, and was Summer, was she in her bathing suit? Yes. And how did she get in her bathing suit? Or I actually put her bathing suit on before we left home because it was really hot out that day. Okay. So it was just something small and then not so hot. Okay, okay. Because I know how she gets too hot. Okay. And how? what was the temperature that day? Give me an idea. Probably in the 80s. Okay. I don't want so to... it's Tennessee warm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like it is now. And, and and are you an air conditioned person or in your mom's truck was a no. AC on or I all? don't like AC. Okay, okay. So what happened? Where where do you guys go and where's Summer going here? We, we all walked down this path, me, my mom, and Summer. All right. So all three of you together. Yeah. Now how does mom's knee handle this hill here? Well, she uses her cane, so it's a little bit easier, and she'll hold on to my shoulder, so. Okay. 
she doesn't fall or nothing. So you're kind of escorting her down here? Yeah. And is Summer ahead of you or behind She's you? She's right here in front of me. Okay. She walk me through that. Oh, we're just walking down through here. I mean, usually, like I said, we go slow because my mom's knee. Okay. Myself. Okay. I was just standing here at the end. Of the well, the water's up a lot further than it usually is. Usually it's down. You can usually see all that wood sticking up all the water. And she was just playing right here. And what time do you get here about? If you remember. I couldn't even tell you to be honest with you. The time is... I don't keep track of time. No, I understand. I mean, I get up in the morning, I do my thing with the kids, and then we go to bed. Okay. I can't even tell you. I know I went to the hospital at 8 with my mom, dropped her off, and I was sitting there, and Hunter called me and asked me what I was doing. I said I was sitting at the hospital in the parking lot waiting on my mom to get done. And he said, well, why don't you all come over? I said, well, as long as your mom says it's okay. And I guess he woke her up or said something to her, and he said, yeah, she said it's fine for a little bit. Because I guess his grandma was coming over or something. She don't like it. I don't like her either. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, she seems like you guys have had a falling out. There's no question about that. Yeah. And, uh, it you was, know. It was stupid part on Al, really honest. What was it over? Well, her, I don't know if it was her husband or Hunter. I'm just going to say Hunter's daddy. Come out with all these guys and stuff and we're supposed to move down here. And they couldn't find a place to stay or whatever. Well, I don't really remember what this guy's name was. I know he's a Mexican, I think. And she that that Jose guy? Yeah. She is, wanted, is that right? Yeah, she wanted him to stay. And she was also staying at my house. Okay. So I said, well, if you're going to be with him, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. That's y'all's deal. And I don't know. They did whatever they did because I didn't really pay attention to them. I just hung out with the kids and my mom. And then one day he just goes, I like chicks with dicks. Mm -hmm. After him and her did whatever. And she got all pissed off and just said, told my mom, take me and my kids back to my place. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know what really happened. Okay. She just went off the handle. And ever since that, she's, I don't know, she's just been hateful towards me. And I don't know, I don't get it. Okay. I really wish I could understand it. Okay. And she stuck me with that guy. And then my husband got home. He's like, well, who's this guy, you know? And I'm like, Allie left him here, abandoned him here. I was like, he ain't got no place to go. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then my mom took him after my, my husband and him got into a little squirrel. My mom took him, I believe it was to North Carolina to some chick's house. And then that was the end of him. I never heard from what him was, again. And that, so him. your mom drove him up there? Yeah, my mom did. Okay. And I never heard from the guy again. What part of North Carolina do you know? I don't even know. Okay. What kind of vehicle did he have, if any? He didn't have no vehicle. Okay. But your mom took him My up. mom took him in her truck. Got it. Straight up. Okay. Then, so you're down here, and all of a sudden now, Summer is doing what? Summer's just playing in the water right here. Okay. I'm just standing right here. Well, the flowers have died that were there on that. Oh, road. so there there were a bunch of flowers there was here. A bunch of flowers right here, yeah, on this little petal. I don't know what. I guess they've all died now, but. Okay. And where's Grandma? Mom's standing right here. Okay. And just, I'm over here close to the edge just because summer's in the water. You sure. You know what I'm saying? That's sure. my thing. Okay. And she's just playing, you know, like a normal kid would play in the water. And then Hunter came from wherever he was and come down here. And was standing here, I don't want to get all wet, but yeah. he was like standing here and someone was out a little bit further. They were pretty far apart from like me and your wife is. Okay. Is that the TikTok video you took? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can see how far they were apart. Yeah, I can see it, right. And with him sitting there saying that she fell on a rock, there's no rock. Where do you see a rock? Right. Yeah, the only rocks I saw were right over here. Yeah. And, and then up even, there. Yeah, they're way over there and I'm right here. Okay. So this is where she is, though? Yeah, this is where she is, right here. Okay. And how is she, what's her behavior? She's jumping around, just, splashing, having just a good time. Summer. Just like Summer would always do. Okay. I mean, that's how all my kids are. Okay. They just splash around and have a good time. Does she go underwater at any time that you see? Oh, uh, she just dips her head in, but sticks it right back up. I mean, it was only up to here so at the time. where did this 
idea of under the water, I where, have no where's idea that, where that come, even from? come from? Okay. That just blew my mind when I heard that. I was okay. like, she didn't even go into it because I, when she was playing in the water, I was take literally taking the TikTok video just to watch, you know, and I did different things because that's how TikTok is. You can do different things with them. Right. And I was just taking TikTok video and, and he come out up out of there somewhere and I was like, just flashed around and then he threw up gang signs. Do and you I'm, know them? No, I have no idea who that is. Okay. And then he started throwing up gang signs and I'm like, so I moved it back away from him as quick as I could and I was videoing them flowers and then back at summer again real quick. And then he decided to get in the water right there and he went like this with the water a couple times. I told him, please stop that. She don't like to be splashed. Okay. And so he quit and got out. And I said, come on, Summer, we got to go get Grandma's prescription. And we just got back in the truck and left. Okay, so a lot, a lot has been said about the tea thing, right? And there's can over there and stuff. Now, I asked Hunter, when we come down tell here, me the this story on that. This place was littered in trash. Okay. <laughs> it was all trash down here. Like, them teas were all over through there, all through everywhere. Okay. There was flowers that my mom wanted to pick from here, and I said, Mom, you better not do that. It's a state park. You okay. get in trouble for that if you get caught. Okay. I'm not getting caught for that. <laughs> okay. And I told her that, and we just walked on back to the truck, but I don't know where that iced tea coming from. I know that I did buy an iced tea. Okay. From the... Well, a smoke shop in town, but I bought that iced tea for my mother. Okay, okay. And if she was here today, she would tell you that. Right, right. And the vapes that I bought yep. were nicotine vapes from the hippie house. Next door. Right, next door. Okay. Well, no, they're kind of, one's, one's further down by the mall. The smoke shop's further down by the mall where I got the iced tea. And the hippie house is just right over here before you crossed over the bridge. Got it. Okay, so the the smoke shop where you bought the We uh, went to, vape. we went, okay. We went to the hospital right. and picked up my mom. Right. And then we stopped at the smoke shop and I got mom that twisted tea that she wanted. And then I stopped at the hippie house and got me some smoked nicotine vapes is what I got. Okay. What and flavor? I think they were Skittles. Okay. Because that's kind of like. Wait, do they do they have like a different ta they, flavor? They actually taste like Skittles. Okay. <laughs> it's the only kind I'll buy. Okay. <laughs> and then we left from there and we went went straight down to Walgreens and we th went through the drive through But we, after we were done at the hippie house, I, I think we bought three of them, I think. I believe. And I set them right there on the council and he asked for one. I said, no, you can't have none. Did he take one? I don't know. Okay. Honest God, I don't know. Okay. But then we went to the Walgreens and dropped off Mom's prescription. I said, well, if we got to wait 30 minutes, why don't we just bring Summer down here and let her play for a little bit? Okay. And that's what we did. Okay. I mean, there was nothing. I honestly didn't see him drink nothing down here. I don't know what he's talking about. I really don't. All right. So it's your word against his, basically. Pretty much. Okay. On this scenario right yes. here. Okay, so from here, where do you guys go? Walgreens. You pick up my mom's prescription. Okay, is that the Walgreens right down at yeah, the edge? Yeah, right straight across. It's the me. one that I, I showed the other day that it's uh, right down here? Yeah, when we turn to come down here, yeah. it's right there on the corner. Okay, you get mom's prescription. Yep. Then what happens? Then we, I told mom, I said, why don't we get a Sonic? Okay. Because it's hot out. Right. So we drove in there and got a Sonic. Right across the street. Yep, right across the street. Okay. And then we left from there and I went up Moreland Drive because I had to pick up a few things. I was in the maybe the store for maybe five minutes. Okay. Grabbed some milk and some cheese and I don't remember what else I bought. Okay. And that's the food lush? No. Or priceless. Priceless. Okay. Yes. Alright. And then I was like, Hunter, you're not coming to the house. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going back to your house. Okay. And I took him back to his house and dropped him off and left. And Summer was still awake when I left his house. Okay. Okay. And Allie did never walk to the truck and try to talk to me or so. Okay. Mom. I tried to get her to come over and talk to me but she wouldn't okay where where does uh from here uh -huh. when you left here okay and you went to sonic mm -hmm. like you mentioned what flavors do you buy do you remember i think i got me and mama grape mm -hmm. is that no, your favorite is not that, my mom is that Summer, your, is that your favorite well, that's my favorite <laughs> i don't remember what mom got she got uh it's like a cool water or something like that okay and then Hunter, I think, wanted the blue one, I think. Okay, is that the remember. slushy? Yeah, Okay. The slushies. I don't know. Did you buy food? Nope. Just the slushies? Just the slushies. Okay, then what happened? And then we left from there, went to Priceless, and I wasn't even in there five minutes. Okay. Grab my milk, come right back out the door, and he was sitting there playing on TikTok like he always does. Okay. 
I mean, and then for him to sit there and say that he doesn't even make TikToks, I have on my phone personally, I can show you where he's made TikToks. Okay. On that, the spot. The wind spray, I hope you've given it to the officials, right? No, actually, it's still on my phone. I haven't had a chance because I was going to talk to them Tuesday when I went back to town. Okay, got I it. got some business I got to take care of. Got it. Roger that. So, from there, you go back to Hunter's house. I drop him off. Explain the milk. The picture of the milk, Hunt. It, it was sitting right there beside Summer. Okay. Because when I handed it to Hunter in the car, he was on the outside. Oh. I said, Hunter, put this on the other side of Summer. I just set it over there. Okay. And she was wide awake setting up. Okay. Like she didn't go to sleep until after we left town. Did she change clothes? Yeah, I changed her clothes because <laughs> when I have the windows down, it could be 100 degrees. I'll have all the windows on. Roll up the window, mommy, I'm cold. And she not be cold, but she, I still do it. Is that part of Summer's That's personality? That's just Summer. Tell me about Summer. Tell you about Summer. I want to know about Summer. She's a happy little girl. Okay. She's the best little girl anybody could imagine. Just like, well, I don't really want to say her name. Yeah, don't say her name. But, you know, happy, go lucky. Nothing ever brings her down hardly. Mm -hmm. Today was, today's a tough day for you, I can tell. Yeah, it's really tough. It's been tough lately. Tell me about that. Um, every time I look around, I see her face. Okay. I don't, I don't know what else I can tell you. Well, help me understand when you went home, Tell me about those dynamics that, that day. Take me back home? to that day. Yeah, on the way home. On the way home, well, we were just sitting there talking, me and Mom, about everything pretty much. Trees, flowers, rocks. Whatever Mom likes, you know, pretty much we talked about. And I was like, what's Summer doing? She's like, oh, she fell asleep. I was like, oh, what's she? how's she sleeping? And when I look back, because I'm driving, and I look back like this, she had her arms up like this, like her daddy sleeps all the time. Okay. So I wanted to catch that moment. Okay. And it was just things I do right and I was like here mom hurry up take that picture and then she accidentally hit the video record okay instead of the picture part okay so like did you catch it she like F no I accidentally hit the video part that's what you get for handing grandma the camera yeah <laughs> well I was driving though okay and I was like did she put her arm back down she's like yeah I was like dang and then she got a picture of her but it by that time her arm was down but her arm was up most of the time like this right and we were like two minutes from the house when she took her arm down. Okay. And then when we got to the house, we unlocked the gate, went up, and I woke her up. She got up, I unbuckled her, she got out of the car. We went and grabbed the boys from the house to yep. come help us with the groceries. Yep. Because I always have them come help me do something. And now who was home when you got home? My three sons. Okay. And how old's your oldest? He'll be 13 in September. Okay. So was he babysitting? Well, technically they weren't really, they were watching TV and sleeping at the same time. Okay. And I was just going to run out for a second and we never even planned, I didn't even plan for Hunter to even be with us that day Got at it. all. Got it. He just called and was like, want to come over for a second? I was like, yeah, I'll come over for a second, but I got to get right back to mom. And that was all it was, was a quick second thing. Got it. He, and he's like, mom, can I go with them? I'm like... I'm like sitting there shaking my head like this, and I was like, I don't care. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Okay. You know, I didn't even think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? I always take them kids. Every time they call me and ask me, come get me, I always come get them because their mom don't do nothing with them. Okay. She just sits there. That seems to be the difference between you and Allie. You guys have a difference in terms of what you say you do and what she says she does, right? right. As always, that it yeah, seems to be a conflict. A conflict somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. Go ahead. Finish your your. But thought. I'm always taking the kids like, like it was. I want to say like three, four months ago. We asked. I went over to Allie's and I asked Allie if she wanted to, her and the kids wanted to go up to. I want to call it Ducktown because that's where we planned on going was Ducktown and she's like, no, I'm going to sleep, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right. And Hunter's like, well, can I go? And Allie's like, yeah, go ahead. So we took him up to Ducktown with us and stuff and brought him back and everything was fine. I thought we were good friends, but I guess she's trying to get back out of me for some reason. I don't know. Th those are reasons that... Uh, 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 they're beyond me. Yeah. It blows my mind. And, and you know what? That's not for me. 
Yeah. Right? That's let the authorities right. figure that I'm out. You know, what I mean? to, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's why I didn't really want to do an interview because I'm not trying to fight this, fight this, right. or say something that I say. Right. I'm not into all that game. I'm here to help find your daughter. I want to find Summer. I don't even okay. care about anybody else's bull crap. I want to find my daughter. I do too. Okay. That's I, all this matters to me. I, I totally agree. I, I totally agree that I'm I'm on that same page with you. All these people, I'm sure, are on the exact same page as well. I think you know that, right? Yeah. So walk me through when you got home. Okay. You unload the grocery. What exactly is going down there? Well, I'm like, I bring my kids out. And we all unload the groceries, but we all go in my house first because we sort out my mom's groceries from her grocery. Okay. We always do. Yeah. And we did that, and mom walked back across, and I was, me and Summer were putting groceries away and uh, watching TV off and on and just chilling with the boys, hanging out. And then uh, we decided to do some laundry because laundry, my kids, they got. 80 pairs of pants, 80 <laughs> pairs, each one of them. Okay. So, you know, doing laundry at my house is like a, a, a job, right? It's a job. Right. Do you have a bulldozer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish I did. Okay. No, that's just joking. Got it. That's okay. Uh, but, um. You're doing laundry. Doing laundry and stuff, and kids are all sitting there watching TV, chilling. And I stepped down, I know his mom was sitting on the step, and her step is like literally from here to that tree, okay. from my doorstep. Okay. I can literally walk over and be right there. Okay. And she's like looking around, I was like, what's your problem? She's like, we gotta get these tr plants transplanted into bigger pots. Okay. And she Now like, you're sitting on the front porch, or where are you all? No, I'm not sitting, I'm Are you in the house? No, no. She's sitting on our camper step right there. And, okay. And the flowers are here on both sides. Okay. And I'm just standing there, we're just talking. And she's like, we gotta get these transplanted. And I was like, all right, well. She goes, well, we know the boys ain't gonna help because they don't like to do flowers. Yeah, what well, boy does, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I was like, but I know someone that will. <laughs> so I ran back in the house and I grabbed Summer. She was sitting in the kitchen playing with her little, what are them, little short guys with the big eyeballs. Okay. And I was like, Summer, you want to plant flowers? Me and Grandma plant Is that the rocks. LOL things? Are they? No, they're not. Like she didn't them? really like LOL. Okay. She didn't care for those. No, they're, I don't know what they're called. They're just, they're all kinds of different characters, like okay. different animals, but they got big eyes. Okay. She liked them, so I bought them for her. And she was saying, I was like, Summer, you want to do some flower planting and stuff? She jumped up faster than anybody could I've seen jump up. She's like, pretty flowers? I was like, yeah, let's go over to Grandma's and plant flowers. Transplant is what we did. And so we did that, and I don't know, it took us a while. Probably 30, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, I don't know. We're not real fast people, we don't. Okay, you're Tennessee time. Yeah, Just sitting much. on a porch, Chilling. Drink, yeah, yeah, drinking some sweet tea and just... I don't drink tea, but Okay, but chatting her around. Yeah, just chatting pretty much. Me and Mom drink Mountain Dew. Okay. That's what we do. We drink Mountain Dew. Yep. And the summer, we got done. We washed our hands real quick. Went in Grandma's house. And she asked Grandma for a piece of candy. She always does. Okay. And of course, Grandma gives it to her. Sure. <clears throat> and she wanted a piece of candy, so Grandma gave it to her. We were sitting there for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes maybe at the most. And she was, Mom, I want to go back to the house with my brothers. I was like, all right. So I got up and I walked her back across to where I could literally see her walking to my doorstep. Okay. And she Front back door, there. back door? No, it's, well, I don't know if you want to call it the front door or back door because I don't really consist which way. Well, door which door is it? Yeah, and some of the pictures I see, it's, it's there's a door around the bottom okay, and the back. Not the basement door. I call it the kitchen door, is what I call it. Okay. And she walked in there and there's a scaffolding that we have for steps. The yellow and black scaffolding we have for steps. Okay. And I put my hand on the scaffolding, I said, boys, watch some of you right back. And I had to go over and help mom. She was still sitting over there. And I had to go in and get her knee brace and fix it for her because it was twisting the crap. Okay. It took me like five minutes, maybe two minutes, I don't know. Okay. I'm not a time person. I never okay. have been. Okay. And next thing I know, I said, Mom, I'm going back over with the kids, chill and hang out, whatever. And I freaking asked her brothers, well, where'd your sister go? She was just right here with you. But she wanted to go play with her toys downstairs, Mom. I said, I think none of them, because that's where our room is, that's where her toys are. Okay. And after about a second, I didn't hear nothing down there. I was like, you sure she went downstairs? They're like, yeah, Mom, she went downstairs. Okay. 
Okay. And my boys do not lie to me. I'm going around because my stairs, it's, my husband calls it a bar, but it's not really a bar. I call it a, a mess. It's, it's a, we built it over the staircase. It's a, I guess you could call it a bar, but it's not really a bar because we don't drink that much. So, but it was like where we put our TV stand and stuff like that. And I walked around because that's where the steps are hidden up underneath there. And I said, Summer. And she didn't answer me. I said, Summer, are you down there? And she didn't answer me. So I ran down the stairs pretty much. I was freaking out. I was like, why is she not answering me? And I looked every, I just went, I, I blew up. I went everywhere looking for her. So I couldn't find her nowhere. Okay. Then what happened? And she was just gone. Okay. She was just gone in the nowhere. And I started chasing the property, going everywhere I could. I sent, I sent my boys down through the, well, we live on the hill, so it was down in the, down by the creek. Okay. I sent them all down through there looking and everything. I, they still, I said, still didn't find her? And they said no. So I ran over and I called, I freaked out. I called Donnie because that's what I do automatically. I freak out, you know. You called Donnie. I called Donnie. I said, I cannot find Summer. Come home now. He's like, call the cops. So I threw my phone down on the back of his pickup, ran over to my mom, picked up her phone because it's the only one that gets out there is AT&T. Okay. So I picked up her phone, I dialed on one. I said, I cannot find my daughter. Okay. And they sent people out and I wasn't just gonna stand there and wait for them to send people out. Right. I jumped in my mom's truck and I went down through, down the driveway as fast as I could. I went everywhere I could possibly think, every road which way. I didn't see no cars, I didn't see nobody at all. And I was like flipping out. I was like, I was a hot mess, so you call it. Okay. It's just, it makes no sense. The only thing that can come to my mind is that somebody snuck up there in that yard and took my baby girl. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? From your perspective. It happens all the time, all the way around the world. I, I'm not questioning that it happens. I, I'm just asking you from your perspective. In your property, living up there as long as you have, Candace, right? What are the odds that that happened? Okay. Take a guess. 50-50. Okay. What would be the 50% that it didn't happen? What What are the other possibilities? I have no idea. Okay. Could she have walked away and fallen? Knowing my daughter? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. What's in your heart today in terms of what do you, what, what do you, what gives you hope and what do you hold on to? I mean, you're pretty, you're pretty, you've been around the block a couple of weekends, okay? I mean, so have I. And you're, you know, I think what you're telling me here, I, I, I have no reason to disagree with you. You know what I mean? I mean, there's going to be a lot of he said, she said, and you know, and I know, no matter what, okay? No matter what, you know. In my heart, I believe, now this is just the way I feel. I respect that. Total respect. I that. feel that somebody has got her hit out somewhere. Okay. And is keeping her away from us. Help me understand why that's in your heart. Okay. First off, I didn't I didn't know how many sex offenders lived around me that were only eight minutes from my property. Okay. I didn't know that. Right. And another my daughter never goes out into the woods because we've taught her there's dangerous snakes, there's bears, there's pack of dogs, there's coyotes, there's everything magical out there in the woods that can, that can hurt you. Okay. I've even taught my boys that. Okay. And I have not never stressed that enough. I tell her that every day. Right. And she would never ever go anywhere than that swing that's on that tree. Okay. Yeah, tell me about that swing. Is that her favorite? I love those videos you put up showing her just having an absolute love blast. That's a blast. You know. Um, what about what about this call allegedly that Hunter says came in? Well, he said there was a call that Don made to you while you were in line at the prescription. Did that happen? He called me and asked how everything was going. Okay. And how soon we were going to be home. Okay. Hunter but Hunter relates that he mentioned to you that Don had said something about somebody around the property. Is that true? That is so bullshit. Okay. Sorry to say, but that's, that's a bunch okay. of bullshit. Okay. 
All right. Okay. And so where was? Where is? I don't where, need to get upset, but when no, no, you're like that. It you just, know, here, here's the good news. Okay. This is your dog. I know where my husband was. Okay. But you have every reason. Don't don't apologize. No, I'm just, okay. It, don't it apologize. Me so mad that I mean, the fact that you're wearing mom patrol. That somebody could stand there and lie. Well, people lie. To law enforcement, to everybody. It just it makes me so mad that it just makes my blood boil. Right. Right. So she disappears. What, what, what are the possibilities in your mind? I know what your heart's saying. Your heart's saying she's with somebody right now. How would we know how to connect that dot? You and me. Well, like, for instance, that Dobbs guy that was supposed to be camping across at my neighbor's house. Right. He was there that same time, and then Tony Hammond whoever the hell he is. He was down through there. Who was there when you got home? There was nobody there. There was a, my mom mentioned the blue van across at my neighbor's house, but I just figured she had company. Okay. I didn't know about that that was the guy that was trying to move in there. I got didn't it. know that okay. at the time. Okay. And so I didn't think nothing. I just figured it was neighbors. I had visitors. Okay. You know, I didn't think nothing about that. I gotta stop. I, I can't do no more. It's fine. I gotta have a cigarette. Sorry. Yeah, no, good. Light it up. I just don't Light want, it up, no, girl. I don't want to breathe in. Other no, no, no. Go blow it. Go, right. go. I'm not gonna. Don't worry about me. You should see me drive. <laughs> I'm a mess when I drive. I can't drive like <laughs> You got a lot going on, Candace. I respect you. I'm sorry that you're having to, all this problem. And no matter what we say, you or me, somebody's going to question like it. It doesn't matter what I say or do or try to prove to people. Somebody's always going to twist my stuff. Right. For that one woman to go on there that works with Allie, she don't know me and my kids. She don't know what they do every day. Most of my boys were here. They tell you. Yeah, this is... I've seen a lot of your pictures. Yeah. It, that speaks volumes. You know what I mean? It, it, you know, it. That speaks a lot. That says a lot. Nobody's perfect though, right? You no, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect by any means, shape, or or thought. Never have been perfect. Never meant to try to be perfect. And I, me neither. I mean, you. I am a person just like you. Yep. Or your wife. That's or right. That person out there on that jet ski. That's right. I'm no different than anybody else. We all make mistakes. There's no question about that. No question about it. I can't even enjoy life without my kids. Help me understand what you mean by that. Like how these guys are out here having fun with their family and stuff. I can't even go in that water and pretend to even have fun because what's the point? She's not here to enjoy it with. You know I lost a son? Yeah, you were saying that. I know that whole... I know th there's a depth of pain that nobody understands until you have been in that hole, okay? And... You know, I've been in this hole twice now. Help me understand that. Well, once when my mom called me and said that they couldn't find my little sister, Rosie. Okay. When she disappeared. And that was heartbreaking. But my daughter, that's twice as worse. Right. You might as well just rip my chest out, throw it out there for the fish to eat because it's worthless without her.
try to be strong for my boys. I try to have hope. like everybody is against me. It's all right. Do you want to you want to rest for a minute? You want to yeah, take a please. break for a second? Yes. Yeah. Take your time. Nobody else is here. They're all gone. Everybody left. You know the, the world today is so different than it used to be even 10 years ago because of you know the people can get on you know this little device and say you know he's lying she's lying he's this that he you know and they do it about me too you know, right it's 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 just so out of control I've almost i've really never seen so much hate in my life until now. I, I believe it Honestly. I believe it. I believe it. Because I think everybody wants to help, but they don't know how to help. So when they hear indiscrepancies, okay, automatically that take, what is that? Oh man, don't get stung on me now. You'll be I'm blaming allergic. me for, 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 <laughs> for a uh, bee sting. But, you know, they don't know how to help or they want to help and then of course there's one discrepancy on YouTube or you know wherever and next thing you know it it just gets crazy I mean I ha I've had people say oh you know you paid Hunter to talk to him seriously a am I paying you no I don't want your money and I, and I wouldn't offer it Okay. I don't want nobody's. I, I'm not here I just for want that. My daughter. I'm here That's for that reason. That's why I'm here. Okay. That is why I'm here. I'm not in interfering with the investigators. I'm letting them I'm do. I'm not neither. I'm going to let them do their. I'm job. let them do their thing. Do their job. Uh, let them do their thing. That's all. Okay. And you know that you came down here on your own to walk yes, me through this. Yes, sir. I credit you for that. I, you know, I respect you for that. Okay. And somebody's going to find something wrong with it, though. I'm, of course they will. I'm giving you a heads up. Okay. Oh, I already know this. All right. I'm just telling you. Okay. That's they, how the world is today. It is. Now, the other side of that okay, is if there is a, 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 a suspicious person or somebody like that, that now you mentioned or Don, I can't remember in the first interview, Donna had mentioned that on the news, on the news, uh, he mentioned that he thought that she was abducted. How did that conclusion come so quickly? Help me understand that. Because she never wanders. Okay. She always stays right there by the house, right there by the swing. Okay. She's either, she'll go to grandma's, but she'll be right back to the house. She, okay. She'll never leave the house. She'll never go out of my sight. Okay. So what did you tell Don at work? When you called I him. just said she was missing. I can't find her. That's okay. all I said. Do you remember where he was that day? What he job was, site I he was on? I believe he was in Jonesboro at the Meadows, I believe. Okay, and he's hanging drywall? No, he's finishing drywall. Okay, so he's a finisher? Yeah. Okay, a taper? Yep. Got it. And do you help him? Well, I tried to help him yesterday, but I just... Didn't. Yesterday when I called you, was yeah. that where you were working? Yeah, you told me you were working, yep. and you said you were going to go to church, yep, I and you went to church, to church. Yep, okay? Sure so you did all the things you told me you were going to yes, do, sir. and I got it. Okay, so that all lined up, okay? And now, when you called him, what was his reaction? He's like, what, are you playing with me? I was like, no, I'm not playing. He's like, call on one, and that's what I did. Okay. That and, was all that was said. Okay. okay. What was Grandma doing? Uh, Grandma was out hollering for her okay. as much as she could. She couldn't. She can't really get down the. My driveway is horrible. Right. Horrible. Right. I don't know if you ever been out there. But it's I went. I I went to your end. I didn't go up. Right. It's horrible out there. The okay. driveway's now. <laughs> Every time it rains, all the gravel goes into the creek. Okay. Is Don home now? No. He's actually at work. Okay. 
do you think uh, you could show me where she was, where you were, and so we could, yeah, yeah, no is, is that cool? That's fine. Okay, well let's let's head up there.